Hey, welcome to another Horror Quickies. I'm your host, JW. Thank you to all three of my subscribers, except for my mom. Unfortunately, my mom, uh, she dropped her subscription to uh, Horror Quickies YouTube, Vile Dark Films. It's okay, mom. I appreciate it that you at least tried. Anyways, today we are going to do a review on another Screen Team releasing film that I got recently. The last one was the Thanksgiving one, the last Thanksgiving. This one, next film that I'm going to review is Spine Chiller, which occurs on Halloween. Bakersfield has a curse on it. Each Halloween, the Spine Chiller dance. And I'm a good dancer now. I wasn't before. Long story. Anyways, the Spine Chiller dance makes its way to town, causing mischief and a string of disappearances no one can explain. Follow four individuals who have been invited this year and watch as they uncover the sinister origins of the dance. Okay, um, first of all, this is one of those films that I still consider this an anthology. This film follows four characters, uh, four different stories. But they all happen at once. You know, they basically all happen concurrently at the same time, and there's links to certain characters knowing each characters and stuff. So it it's sort of what it's sort of like uh, telling perspectives of each person on the same night, and some a lot of them are related to each other. And yeah, I personally still call consider that a anthology. If you don't consider that an anthology, please. Uh, Write a message and let me know, as I'm curious if anybody else considers these anthologies or not. Anyway, this one is very good. I liked it. It's not perfect. There are some flaws. There are some things I had issues with, nothing major. But overall, I enjoyed this film very much. The music, the uh, once again, it's screen team releasing. The majority of these films have a 80s type vibe. The soundtrack pretty much definitely, definitely uh, leans that way. The stories are good. Uh, I don't pick apart special effects because uh, trying to work on low budget projects myself, I'm impressed with what a lot of people can do on a small budget. And this was a great film. This is a very good looking film. The dance, uh, the the uh, the the, uh, the pumpkin head, uh, the, the 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 special effects, the blood effects, all that is good in this film. I don't want to spoil anything. There was a uh, creature transformation effect that I thought could be better, but considering the old school nature, I get it. I get why they did it that way. Um, it, it, it did remind me of uh, some of the uh, Oliver Reed films, uh, stuff that where he was transforming. I can't remember. I think it was a Wolfman film. I feel bad that I don't know that. But anyways, um, it's a good film. Um, I felt like the stories were well balanced. Uh, they all were interrelated, but were all sort of stylistic different, different stylistically to to a, to a decent point. I I do think it's worth the money. I'll will tell you right now. I paid nineteen ninety nine off of the screen team releasing. Check it out. I believe I pre-ordered this and I pre-ordered last Thanksgiving. If you know me, I don't do pre-orders because I've been screwed before on uh, pre-orders and there's still people who are actually Facebook fans that friends with me that I decided to let it go but the truth is some y'all still owe me movies but it's fine it's fine I'm not gonna make a big deal even though I probably did or I might just edit that you know magic video anyways um I like the film I'll give you a look at the back which I generally don't do okay you can see I uh, this character right here I love when she puts on the Halloween makeup What's interesting is you don't really, I didn't really see her character as a lead character when they originally showed her, I, you know. But then that, that scene where she, towards the end, the third act, the third act is wonderful. I think the third act, even if, uh, even if I felt like some of the stories could have moved a little faster, the third act kind of culminates the whole entire film and I think that right there the director should be applauded when she puts that makeup on and she decides to go to the spine chiller dance i i really really dug that moment i really like moments in films you have to have a good story uh you know everything has to flow very well like i always tell people as much as i respect visual styles it's all about the story for me and felt like the story was good my only thing is, uh, to harden back to what they say here, uh, where it says, 
Sinister or were watch as they uncover the sinister origins of the dance. I don't really. F I felt like I'm not. I don't want to spoil it, but I felt like I personally felt like there should be more explanation. When you guys watch the film, you know, comment in the in the bottom of my video if you felt like you agree or disagree. But anyways, long story short, Spine Chiller. Yes, it was totally worth the 19.99 I paid for it, plus shipping costs. Totally worth it. Uh, I, I, would advise, I would advise you guys, if you like these type of movies, please check out Scream Team Releasing. They, uh, they have some good ones. Check out Screen Time Films, Todd Falcon Cook. Uh, I don't want to miss anybody, but yes, these are, these are uh, oh, Concept Media Films. These are places that I order a lot of my movies because I don't have a lot of in-town buying options. I order a lot online and I highly recommend those three sites, those three companies. They do good films. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Spine Chiller gets... No, wrong show. Anyways, take care. See you guys next time.